are watching One Day from Sapporo! I am Ren and I'll be taking you around the city and today we are at Odori Park. So Odori Park is like the central point of Sapporo and it divides the city into two parts, the north and the south. So right now we are in the summer and you can see the park is full of really lush scenery. You can go to Odori Park in a variety of ways, by walking, by cycling, or you can even go here through subway. So the green, the orange, and the blue lines all intersect in Odori Station. And as you go up from the station, you, can, you are now at Odori Park. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go! All right, so the park actually spans several blocks. It's very huge and there's a lot of sceneries that you can find here. So there's the fountains, there are statues, and there's even gardens. In this part of the park, you can actually find two statues. So these two statues are actually the founding fathers of Sapporo. So Sapporo, when it was being built into the city that it is now, there are several founding fathers, and two of them are in the statues that I am showing you at the moment. So this is Kurota Kiyota, he's Japanese, and the other one is Horace Kepron, and he is American. So each of the blocks in Odori Park actually have uh, unique uh, parts, and you can do a lot of things here. So now I am in a block that is dedicated for children. So there are a lot, lots of activities for the kids to do here. So if you're traveling with kids, I recommend that you um, go in this part of Odori Park. <laughs> For me, spring and summer, especially summer, is one of my favorite, um, in fact, it's my favorite season here in Sapporo because you can just see a lot of flowers blooming. And it's just so nice to look at and appreciate don't pick the flowers though, that's not good, that's bad, that's not allowed here in Sapporo. You can just appreciate and look at them, do not pick, do not loot. So we're almost uh, nearing the end of Odori Park and now we will go to another area just beside the park. So this place is actually five minutes, uh, it just takes a five minute walk from Odori Park and you can find it at the north of the park. So you don't have to take any public transportation. All right, so we have now arrived in Akarenga. And to answer your question on what does Akarenga mean, it's this. So Akarenga actually means red brick in Japanese. So red brick, as you can see, the building is made from red bricks. And here you, here you can see the Hokkaido old government building. So decades ago, this is where the government of the central government of Hokkaido is located and this is their office. So in front of the old government building you can see some lakes. So there are a lot of lotus flowers in there, lotus plants. And sometimes you'd be able to see some ducks just waddling around the lake and even some occasional sightings of squirrels. And this is what's great about Sapporo you'll still have a piece of nature with you even if you're inside a big city. Okay, now where should we go next? We now go a little bit in front of the old government building, which is the Akarenga Terrace. All right, so from the old government building, as you can see here, so right in front of this old, uh, old government building, you just need to cross the pedestrian lane, and this is the Akarenga Terrace. So staying true to the Akarenga word, it's also made from red bricks. And it's just a very wide area for you to relax. And um, inside this area, you can also find a lot of restaurants. So if you ever get tired or just want to take a rest or you get hungry from exploring the old government building or Odori Park, you can just walk to Akarenga Terrace and have yourself a bite of food or like ice cream and just relax in the wonderful ambience of Akarenga Terrace. And this is soup curry Zora. And this is the menu. So although there's, it's all in Japanese, you don't have to worry because there are pictures for you to choose what do you want to eat. So let's go. 
Sasha. All right, so we're now inside. Ah, sorry, this side. All right, so we are now seated here. And I'm excited to try their soup curry. Okay, so I've chosen from the menu and I will be taking the Mamuke chicken curry, soup curry. So I'll be choosing this one. So here you can see it's more soup. Mm. So even the soup has its own flavor and there's actually like an herb taste into it. If you like, you can mix it with the rice. <laughs> so it depends on you and how you want to eat this um, soup curry. So that was a good lunch and uh, I was so full that as you can see the servings of the soup curry are a lot and uh, hmm what's next what's good after a good lunch good delicious lunch like that dessert so let's go have our wonderful dessert in Kinotoya so let's walk we're still in Odori area and all we need to do is walk around. And we'll, we'll have it here in Quinatoya Cafe. So let's go. Okay, so let's enter and we will be having their signature uh, Hokkaido milk ice cream. Okay, so here we are. We're going to order Omu Parfait, which is like a fruits parfait. So I ordered om parfait, which is a, in English it's omelette parfait, but instead of omelette being eggs, they, they put fruits. Here we have the cake. Mm. So uh, this dessert is actually made from Hokkaido milk, meaning that the milk that was used to make this omu parfait is sourced here locally in Hokkaido. So it's actually very sweet, which is a signature taste of Hokkaido milk. And I recommend you try this because as I mentioned, it can only be, um, it can only be eaten or like, it's a Hokkaido signature dish. Okay, so aside from the very delicious omu parfait, we also have this ice cream. And what's unique about this ice cream, it's made from Hokkaido milk as well. So it has that very sweet taste as well that is very unique to Hokkaido milk. Mm. Very sweet. So I also recommend you to try this whenever you're in Sapporo. Okay, so behind me you can see the Sapporo TV tower and we will go up to the observation deck which will give us a nice view of the city center and Odori Park. Okay, so we will now go inside um, Sapporo TV tower and buy the tickets. Okay, so now I have the admission ticket to go up the Sapporo TV tower and now we will ride the elevator going up. Let's go! Ooh, can you see? We're going up now. Okay, so now we are up 90 meters above ground. It's a bit high. And we are now at the observation deck of Sapporo TV Tower. So here we have some telescope for us to see. But you have to pay for it though, sadly. <laughs> now that we got a good weather, we can actually see a, a very beautiful view of the horizon of Sapporo. 
Okay, so behind me, you can see Sapporo uh, Odori Park, which we were able to see as well today. A little bit farther, you can actually see the wonderful mountains of Sapporo. So here in the top of Sapporo TV Tower, you can actually appreciate the view of Sapporo and not just here in the summer, but also in winter and autumn. So when you come to Sapporo, don't forget to visit the Sapporo TV Tower observation deck. Okay, so that concludes the one day from Sapporo. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to uh, check out the other videos of our channel. And also uh, feel free to visit Sapporo once you come to Japan. So again, this is Ren. Bye!